Hi guys, Steve here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to tame a basilisk. I tried it yesterday, but the basilisk vanished. First of all, you need a rock drake, so you can go down into the rock drake egg area, because you'll need to get the eggs. And you need a biohazard suit, so you don't die of radiation. Let's go and get a few eggs. best to look out for this spire and dive all the way down to the bottom there's a radiation sign come up let's go this away cloak up and you're looking for rock drake nests button to climb position yourself so you're facing outwards you need to make a quick entrance a uh, quick exit Oop, it was a bit sneaky what level was that egg you just want oh 185 that's a bit high to feed a basilisk Keep all the good ones. Right, you need to make sure your rock drake's got full stamina because you need to escape. Once you grab an egg, all the rock drakes will come after. direction. See that after still after me. Go to the spire because I find it hard to climb on that. And then deselect the climbing ability. So we've got one egg that we actually want to keep. Let's go in and find another egg. There's one. There's a nest. Position yourself. And cloak, get your stamina. Yeah, 90 will do. And just repeat this process until you've got enough eggs. We can feed the basilisk. I'm just going to carry on until I've got a few more and then skip forward and look, go look for a basilisk. Right, there's a basilisk spawn point by the lake here at coordinates 1949. But I killed the ones that are here yesterday and the other one vanished. And I've not seemed to spawn back in yet. So I'm going to go to the starting portal area to see if they've spawned back in. Keep an eye out for a little tail popping up. Nope. Okay, see you there. There's a basilisk's tail sticking up. It's the side of a rock. That's at coordinates 26 by 48, just off from the lake. Now I'm going to 
go to the portal. Right, this is the portal area. Would dev say it's a easy starting zone, but it's the main basilisk spawning area. 44-21 in here. Left middle side of the map. spawned in from what I killed yesterday. I killed the low level ones, the higher ones will spawn. You don't glide when you've got your equipment out. any tails at the moment. I'm going to check the sides and stop if I find any. Right, I've searched the bottom area and couldn't find any, none spawned in yet. However, on the top side areas, you also find them as well. Let's see what level this one is. 40. It's a bit low. I'm going to kill it, in fact. So, it won't aggro once you're on a drake. We need to get off get back on quickly. It's a bit too quickly. There we go. Stay close to it so it doesn't spit venom at you. Still bite with dragon. I'm killing the low level ones, higher ones will spawn in. much health. There's one. What level are you? Eating a stego. Fifteen. Let's kill you as well. Where's another? Like I say, it's supposed to be the safe, easy zone to start with. Highest concentration of basilisks I've seen on the game. again. Let's check 
the other side. Don't see any tails. Okay, it looks like we've cleared this area. So, on to the next. Right, I'm at the top platform base of uh, Lake. I found another basilisk. Landed from the top. I see another one there. We should sort that magnifying glass, spy glass out. Another 15. There you are on the map, and that's going as 12.50. Found another one here. And I think it's more where I'm pointed now. So I'm going to go in and try and find them. Right, I'm in the blue zone. And there's another one there. That's it on the map. But to be honest, I'm going into a dangerous area now where taming them may be a bit of a problem. So it's preferable to tame them on a safe green zone. It's a nice big open space here, so you can do them here. But going further into the area you're not going to get a nice area to run around in like this and put your eggs down so I wouldn't advise going any further in than this and I'm here in the blue zone 50-70 Where a basilisk guy is. Level 50 again. It's not the higher one I was after. I'll keep looking. Right, I'm back at the portal. Let's see if I can find one. At this point, I'll take anything. Oh yeah, there we go. What level? Good job of starting spawning again. Fifteen. Not, not epic, but right. Cloak up. Drop your eggs. Hi guys, from here. I'm changing the original video that I uploaded. Here you see me dropping my Drake eggs from a dino. Do not do that because it won't work. 
I dropped all the eggs from a drake and then tried for the next hour to tame a basilisk, but it was a nightmare and it didn't eat them. I then thought all the eggs down at once was confusing it, so I tried one at a time. I had better results, but for some reason it was still hit and miss. After a long time, I did manage to tame two snakes, by putting one egg down at a time, but it wasn't easy, it was a complete pain in the butt. After I uploaded that video, a couple of comments told me why it wasn't working properly. And that's because, if you drop the drake eggs from a dino, the basilisk will not eat them. You must get off your dino and put the eggs on the ground yourself. They must be dropped from your inventory and not the dino's inventory. I did manage to tame two basilisks when I placed the eggs on the ground one at a time, but I'm going to skip showing that process as I've recorded a new taming method of putting the eggs down from my inventory and not the dino's. And that's what I'm going to show you now. Right, I'm shooting this bit again because I've had two useful bits of information posted onto my original video. The first is, the basilisks over there, is that do not drop the eggs from your dino or it doesn't work. I never knew that. Uh, what you need to do is put them on the ground. Let me just get the eggs. That'll do. Try not to aggro that yet. Place it on the ground in person and not on a dino. Which I have to say is a complete bull mechanic. An egg on a net ground should be just an egg on a ground not that it's been placed by a person or dropped from a dino as you can see I've got quite a few eggs so we're doing a method with lots of eggs on the ground again I need to change my helmet Right, a second bit of information is, once you lose aggro and it goes under the ground, it loses taming efficiency. And somebody else commented that if you put dino gates either side, they'll bite that, they won't go back under the ground. You'll keep them above ground, you'll keep all the efficiency. Then you can try and kite them off the gates when they're hungry again and go get the eggs. So let's see if this actually works. What level are you? Oh shit. Let's just get into position. So all these eggs have been placed, as you've seen, by my hand and not dropped from a dino. Now, when he calls like that, they said that means he's hungry. Yeah, and he ate an egg. So when he sticks his mouth up and does a call, he's ready to eat. Now, obviously, he's just eating, so he's going to take a little time to get hungry again. Try and coax him over here. I think he's going to go for that stego. too far away. I want to grab his aggro so it doesn't go underground. And I lose efficiency. Alright, let's see if I can get him to bite the door. I'll stay close to him. Down. Yeah. I'll 
try the door method one more time. And if not, I'll just run around in circles. I think the door actually baffles him. See if he does a call. That means he's hungry. No. Don't mind if he bites me. Got plenty of aggro. Just use the door frame. Keep aggro. Remember to get on your drake. Get off your drake and back on again when you want to pull him away. He's not done a call yet, he's not hungry. Let's see if we can get him caught on the door again. There's a call. Now he's hungry again. Right, come over here, little fella. There you go. It actually all works. There's one basilisk tame. It was level 100. It's gone up to 44 levels. So thank you for those comments, they were very helpful. So to keep aggro, just use the door frame. Uh, when he calls, uh, that means he's hungry and he's about to eat. And most importantly of all, the mechanic is get off your dino and place the eggs by hand. And do not drop them out of the dino. Otherwise, as you've seen, when I've tried it like for over an hour, it does not work. And there we have another tame basilisk. That was vastly easier than the messing about I did yesterday. Thank you guys, thank you for the comments. I shall crack the video. I'm going to drag this one over here a bit because there's another one fairly close I'm going to double test it well, I want to say fairly close, I'm going to have to kite it a while <laughs> it's right down there All right, back in a bit one I actually found was a 50, but there was one next to it. What oh, lovely oh. One something. 135. Right. Shit. It was a bit unexpected. It ambushed me. <laughs> I had to kill. 
all the crap around in a way, yeah. Alright. Let's try this again. Let's see if it takes an egg. No, it's not hungry. So let's get aggro on the gate. Damn. Come on. There is a call and it comes up late. Grow that. Yes, it has. I'll let it chew on that a bit. Wait until it gets a bit hungry. Where's the where's the call? See it? Right. You want some juicy egg? There's just eaten one. Right, let's try and get it aggroed before it goes underground. Let's go on, bite me, bite me, bite me, come on. Bite me. Mwah. So getting aggro. I think I should try and get off uh, Drake. Because after the egg, it doesn't look like it sees you. No. Looks a bit hit and miss, to be honest. What level basilisk was my good one? Same just today, I can't remember. Alright, it looks like he's chomping on the gate. Let him do that for a while. Until he gets hungry. Tension off the gate by getting off the drake. Yep, that's how you do it. Let him chomp on me a few times. Don't want him to go far away. Don't go far away, you'll go underground. I think he likes that gate. And do not let it bite you. Follow me closely. It's not hungry yet. Let's go back to the gate again. as long as it keeps above surface. Still not hungry. I think the gate trick's quite good, because it's not going underground again. Oh, not 
gemacht schon überall. Ich weiß nicht, his friend Let's try and get him on the other gate why should we gate it there you go, there's a call, he's hungry there we go, there's another egg Gate friend. I'll let him chomp on that for a while. Won't be hungry for a bit yet. Let's kill that stego. Let's see if it actually goes underground or goes away from distance. Mm, I think it might only take one more egg. Uh, I could have a look, see if there's any basilisks up that platform. Or down there. I've not seen any down there really. There's one up there on that platform where I'm looking. Still chomping on the gate. Let's see if he's gone hungry yet. Too far away from him, he'll go underground. That's well have a gate. Oh, that's close. Do not want to be bitten. One bite and he'll pass out. I don't actually need these basilisks. I've already got a good one from yesterday. I haven't got him a base or something. So I went out of range and he went to the gate. So it saves it from going underground and you lose efficiency. If I lose him there, see if he goes to the other gate. Yeah, he does. So you can get him aggroed on one gate and the other gate. And then if you lose aggro when you're going back and forth, it'll automatically go back to one of the gates he's already attacked. I don't know if he actually loses efficiency. I'm attacking a bear. I just got bitten, I just got bitten, get out. 
No! Go on, go down, go down, go down. Don't stop, keep going down. I jumped up the cliffs because I thought it would be the hardest place for me to get to. Well done, Drake. Save me ass. There's the other one. Shit, I don't want to drag him over here. Oh, he's gone underground. Well, that's better than, than killing me. Oh, come on. Some taming fit. One bite and you're out. Unless you be I don't even know if boosting yourself with loads of stims will get you awake. Great. I don't want to really risk getting bit, bitten again. But I want to know if, it, if he loses taming efficiency when he's fighting. Turning around, just turning around. Bad idea. Oh, really, there's another one there. We've got pitch invaders. We've got penises, horses, and the pictures. The hell's happening? Where are we all coming from? Oh my god! Everyone's joining. Well, good job. I don't. Oh, he's already. He's got an egg. I'm coming. Well, that was a kind of anticlimax. Sorry, Mister. He must have been hungry and gone over the egg when I wasn't looking. Right, I'm going to take these to base. Not sure what I'm going to do with that one. Let's get the other snakey. good thing about killing all the low level snakes, higher ones are much more likely to spawn in. Is that one higher or lower than the other one? Oh, it's, yeah, you do get male and female. Can you actually breed these? So yes guys, the door frame method does work. I advise putting one of those in, it's dead cheap and it'll keep the basilisks from going underground uh, and always remember always always remember do not drop the eggs out of your dino or it will not work whatsoever and I spent over an hour on that well hours on it yesterday I managed to get two tamed by doing one one egg at a time, but I think that's because I was just dropping it by hand. So I'm going to take these back to base. I'm now going to cut to the video what I did yesterday of when I took the other two snakes back to base and showed you what the snakes do. So thank you for the extra tips guys. It works. honestly can't believe that a dev's actually put that you have to drop it by hand instead of dropping the eggs by your dino. That's just quite not. Right, now let's test 
the basilisks out. Craft one. Do I think I've got ingredients for another? I need to get more metal. Right. Sado. Snakey, there you go. We're even collecting a bit. Let's have a look at you. I am your master. You're a wizard, Harry. Right, let's have a drive of it. I'll get unstuck from a drake tail. Everything else. Alright, oh, it's fast. It's a fast one. Oh, he's a good little nipper. Look at the length of that. It's got mighty girth as well. Alright, let's go. Oh, he's got loads of health already. I thought they were a bit tanky. Let's get 10,000. But it gets excited, it's dancing. Uh, in fact, let's put the helmet back on because we want to test out its poison. And if a poison wyverns or anything to go by, right mouse button. You got gassed, mate. You got stinkhead. Oh, we could have killing fish. Fire! Mm, let's see if I can climb up. Some rocks better than others. Turning circles, not bad. He does a little pressing space, puts you underground. Digging. Can you go under rocks? Yep, those ones. Can you, go, can you go under big rocks? Oh, I've got oxygen, look. Yep, I can go under those. Don't want to stay on the ground too long. Or well, your basilisk might suffocate. How about Dodec? How dare you spit at me? Alright, let's put more points into. Let's try. It. Damage, let's see what its stamina's like. This is normal speed. This is running speed. Do 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 do. I get up there. It's okay at climbing. Oh, get full damage, Joe. Oh. Hmm, one expecting that. Right, let's lock you with a K. So it looks like he's hub off. It's a big wormy. Damages for me. I'm not too 
Is that done any at all? Oh, I thought it did uh, self damage. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. It's us underground. Oh, it's fast underground as well. Guess speed it is, keep your eye on your O2. So this and the Drake probably want the best dinos on this map. Let's have to go underneath the door. If so, it shall be good for raiding. And if not, hmm. right. Let's go. Let's do this test. You can't. I thought it'd be a bit overpowered. You'd be able to sneak into everyone's base. Barriers on cooldown. There's 150 something around. No, it doesn't like doors. Just that's going to be awkward. Let's just open the doors so I don't have to move a spider. Let's do a final test. What's it like in base structures? Oh, don't want to poison my dinos. Strong button. So it can get, get stuck on its own basilisks. No, it doesn't like structures. Okay guys, that's how you tame a basilisk. And remember not to drop your eggs from your dino. You must go on the ground first, then drop them from your inventory. Otherwise a basilisk won't eat it and you'll be wasting hours of your time. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and click the bell icon to get notified of when I upload next. There's links to my other videos at the end. Thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye.